What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Today, we're not just witnessing a new AI model release. We're witnessing a paradigm shift. OpenAI, the company behind the newest GPT-5, has just not only released GPT-5, but done something that many in the tech world never thought they would. They've released powerful open weight models to the public. These aren't stripped down, lightweight versions. These are state-of-the-art models that are rewriting the rules of what's possible with OpenAI. In this video, we're going to take a deep comprehensive look at GPTOSS. We'll cover its groundbreaking capabilities, from its insane reasoning to its ability to run on consumer-grade hardware. We'll break down what open weights actually means and why this is a bigger deal than open source. We'll also explore the new opportunities this creates for developers, businesses, and even casual users. Get ready, because the future of AI just got a whole lot more open. All right, let's get right into the heart of the matter. What exactly is GPTOSS? GPTOSS is a new series of open weight models from OpenAI. And the two headliners are the GPTOS S120B and GPTOS 20B models. This is a massive move because for years, OpenAI has been a closed ecosystem, keeping their best models proprietary. Now, they've released models with performance that rivals some of their own advanced internal systems under a permissive Apache 2.0 license. This means developers and businesses can use them, customize them, and deploy them for commercial use without restrictions. So, why are these models a big deal? Let's start with performance. The highest tier model, the 120B, achieves scores on core reasoning benchmarks that are close to OpenAI's internal O4 mini model. And according to one video, it scored an incredible 19% on humanity's last exam, a notoriously difficult AI knowledge test. To put that in perspective, a previous OpenAI model from just months ago scored 8%. These models also achieve nearly 100% on mathematical tests, showing their immense strength in logical and structured reasoning. But it's not just about raw intelligence. These models are also built for a new kind of interaction. They use a reasoning process that involves thinking before responding, a technique often called chain of thought. This means you can get a more detailed and logical response. And for the 120B model, you get full access to this thought process, which is invaluable for debugging and understanding how the AI arrived at its answer. They also boast a huge context window of 133,000 tokens. To give you a comparison, Microsoft Copilot's default is 128,000, and the original GPT 3.5 only had a 4,000 token window. This means the model can process and remember a much larger amount of information at once, making it perfect for complex tasks like summarizing long documents or writing extensive code. Now, here's where things get really interesting. The ability to run these models on consumer hardware. These models have been quantized to reduce their memory footprint. The 20B model, for example, can be run on a device with just 16 gigabytes of RAM, making it accessible on modern laptops and even some high-end phones. The larger 120B model, while more demanding, can still run on a single 80 gigabyte GPU. This is a massive breakthrough. Why is this so important? It means you can run an incredibly powerful AI locally. This has two huge implications, privacy and new applications. First, privacy. With a local model, you no longer have to send sensitive data to a third-party server. Your data stays on your device, under your control, which is a major concern for many businesses and individuals. Second, new applications. By running a powerful AI directly on a device, we can build things that just weren't possible before. Imagine a phone with a perfect private memory of your entire digital life, or a personalized assistant that never has to send your data to the cloud. The ability to run these models locally opens up a world of possibilities for developers to create new and exciting products. So, how do you get your hands on this? OpenAI, in a nod to the developer community, has released these models on Hugging Face. You can download the weights and start experimenting today. The community has already been hard at work with support for various inference frameworks like Transformers and VLLM. 
But for those of you who want to play around without a deep technical background, there are now consumer-friendly ways to run these. You can use tools like Olima or LM Studio to download and run these models with just a few clicks. This is a massive step towards democratizing powerful AI. The fact that a model with this level of reasoning can be run on a Mac or a Windows PC with a decent GPU is a game changer. The developers get to experiment, fine tune, and build without having to pay for an API. And that means a wave of new innovation is coming. Now, a word on safety. OpenA has been very transparent about the process. They ran extensive safety training and even tried to adversarially fine tune the 120B model to see if it could be pushed to a dangerous level in domains like biological or cyber risks. Their conclusion? Even with a concerted effort, the model did not reach their threshold for a high capability risk. They also made a deliberate decision to leave the model's chain of thought unfiltered. While this might lead to more hallucinations, it's a safety trade-off that allows for better transparency and debugging, a crucial feature for the open weight ecosystem. Let's talk about the model's agentic capabilities and why they're so powerful. Both models have native agentic capabilities, which means they're not just for generating text, they're for taking action. They have built-in functions for things like web browse, few-shot function calling, and even Python code execution. And then there's the speed. While this is based on rumors and initial tests, there are claims that these models are incredibly fast in terms of tokens per second. For example, the large model is rumored to run at 48 tokens per second on a high-end MacBook Pro, which, combined with its intelligence, is a significant advantage. This kind of speed and power on local hardware is a historic opportunity for technology creators. However, no model is without its limitations. Some initial reports suggest that the smaller 20B version may have more issues with hallucinations compared to the latest cutting-edge models like Gemini 2.5 Pro or OpenAI's O3. They can also suffer from context rot, where they start to forget the original instructions when given a very long text to process. These are things developers will need to be aware of. Beyond the raw specs, the real power of GPTOSS lies in what it's built to do with agentic tasks. These models aren't just for writing essays. They are designed for workflows that require an IA to act autonomously. They come with native capabilities for tool use, web browse, and Python code execution. This means you can give them a complex multi-step command and watch them go to work. For example, you could prompt the model with, find the top five new restaurants in Los Angeles, browse their menus for vegetarian options, and summarize the price points in a spreadsheet. The model, without further human intervention, can browse the web, parse the data, and format it, just as you asked. This is the future of autonomous agents, and GPTOSS is a perfect foundation for building them. The models also offer what OpenAI calls configurable reasoning effort, which lets you adjust the reasoning level on the fly, low, for quick, general dialogue and fast responses. Medium, for a balance of speed and detail. High, for deep, detailed analysis on complex tasks like coding or scientific problems. This gives developers a powerful lever to fine tune the model's behavior to match the specific needs of their application, balancing performance and cost perfectly. The release of GPTOSS is a historic moment. The distinction between open source and open weights is an important one. The models are open weights, meaning the pre-trained compiled version is available, but the underlying code might not be fully open. Still, for developers, this is a huge step forward. It gives them the freedom to build, innovate, and experiment without the constraints of a closed API. The cost to train these models was immense, between half a million and two million dollars for the smaller model, and around 20 million for the larger one. By releasing them, OpenAI is giving the community a powerful gift and challenging the entire AI landscape to innovate faster. The future is no longer a centralized, closed-off system. It's decentralized, accessible, and open to everyone. This is a magical moment for technology. The tools are here. It's up to us to build the future.
What do you think of GPTOSS? Does this make you more excited about the future of AI? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this breakdown valuable, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. We'll see you in the next one.